Okay, so get this Elon Musk. Yeah. You know, the guy yeah. like shooting rockets into space, yeah. building self-driving cars, right? Right. Well, he's now hiring Hindi tutors. Wow. Hindi tutors. So we're going to dive into some news articles today about this very unusual move. It's uh, certainly something that raises an eyebrow. Right? Yeah. Uh, it all kind of connects back to his AI company, mm -hmm. XAI. Right. And um, they're on this ambitious quest. Yeah. To build AI that can understand and work in multiple languages. So we're talking about AI that could hold conversation in Hindi. To, yeah. Yeah. Translate a document from Chinese to Spanish. Uh -huh. Maybe even write a poem in Russian. Potentially, yes. Mm -hmm. And that's where the Hindi tutors come in. OK. Uh, XAI is on a global hunt right now yeah. for people to fill this AI tutor bilingual role. OK, let's unpack this job description. Right. What exactly are they looking for? Well, it's a temporary gig. OK. Just six months. Six months. And it's fully remote. Oh, wow. Which means someone in India could be teaching AI right, right alongside someone in Brazil. I love that. It really opens up opportunities for people anywhere in the world. Right. What about the pay? Any idea what these AI tutors are making? Uh, they're offering between $35 and $65 an hour. Hold on. Yeah. Let me do the math for our listeners in India. That's roughly 2,900 to Euro 5,500 rupees an hour. Yeah. That's more than many entry-level software engineers make. It's uh, definitely a competitive rate. Yeah. Which suggests they're serious about attracting top talent. So what do these AI tutors actually do? What does it mean to teach AI a language? So they have two main responsibilities. Okay. First, they generate and label multilingual data. Okay. So imagine creating a massive library of real-world conversations right. and text all tagged with a linguistic information. So kind of like creating a giant textbook for AI, mm -hmm. but instead of chapters and paragraphs, yeah. it's filled with snippets of actual language use. Exactly. Okay. It's about feeding the AI with diverse and authentic examples mm -hmm. of how language is used in different contexts. And what's the second part of the job? They work closely with XAI's technical teams. Okay. Essentially, they're ensuring the AI is learning correctly. Yeah. That it's grasping the nuances of Hindi and other languages. Okay. Think of it as quality control for the AI's language education. So far, so good. <laughs> but here's the million dollar question. Why Hindi XAI mentions they're aiming for multilingual AI, uh -huh. including English, Chinese, like, yeah. Russian, Spanish. Why this focus on Hindi specifically? That's where it gets really interesting. Yeah. There are a few potential explanations we can explore. Lay them on me. Okay. So for starters, yeah. India has a booming tech scene. Right. And a vast pool of people yeah. fluent in both Hindi and English. Yeah. So from a practical standpoint, right. it makes sense for XAI to tap into that talent pool. They need people who can not only speak Hindi, right. but also communicate effectively with the English speaking engineers and researchers at XAI. Exactly. But there's also a more strategic angle to consider. OK, I'm all ears. Hindi, yeah. with its complex grammatical structure mm -hmm. and rich vocabulary, okay. presents a unique challenge for AI language models. So it's not just about the number of speakers, right. but also the linguistic complexity of the language itself. Precisely. Yeah. Think of it this way. OK. If an AI can learn to understand and generate Hindi effectively. Mm -hmm. It's like a weightlifter who's trained with extra heavy weights. They'll be able to handle any other language with ease. Exactly. It's about pushing the boundaries of what AI can do with language. Mm -hmm. And Hindi seems to be the perfect testing ground for that. So by teaching AI Hindi, uh -huh. XAI could be unlocking breakthroughs that benefit their multilingual AI development across the board. That's the idea. It's about tackling a difficult challenge right. that once overcome yeah. could lead to significant advancements in the field. This all sounds very impressive. But I have to ask, what's the big deal about multilingual AI anyway? Yeah. Why should we care if AI can speak a bunch of different languages? That's a great question. The implications of this technology are yeah. pretty mind-blowing. Okay. Imagine a world where language barriers just crumble Yeah. and information is accessible to anyone. Right. Anywhere in any language. Okay, now you're talking. Right. No more need for translators. Yeah. Sign me up. Not so fast. <laughs> it's not quite that simple. Right. But we're definitely moving in that direction. Yeah. Think about the impact on communication, on globalization, yeah. 
on the development of future AI applications, yeah. it's a potential game changer. Give me some concrete examples. Yeah. How could this actually play out in the real world? Okay, well, for starters, yeah. imagine AI-powered tools okay. that can translate complex documents with pinpoint accuracy, mm -hmm. capturing not just the literal meaning, right. but also the cultural nuances and subtleties of each language. That would be huge for businesses operating in global markets. Right. No more clunky translations that miss the mark. Exactly. And think about real-time communication. Okay. We could have AI that facilitates seamless conversations yeah. between people speaking different languages. Yeah. Uh -huh breaking down barriers yeah. and fostering cross-cultural understanding. That sounds like something straight out of a sci-fi movie. It does. But it also raises some questions. Yeah. What about those who work as translators? Yeah. Will they become obsolete in this multilingual AI future? It's certainly something to consider, and it's part of a larger conversation yeah. about the impact of AI on the job market. Yeah. However, it's important to remember that AI is a tool. Mm -hmm. And like any tool, right. it can be used in different ways. So instead of replacing human translators entirely, right. maybe AI could augment their capabilities, yeah. allowing them to work more efficiently and focus on more specialized tasks. Exactly. It's about finding ways to leverage this technology right. to enhance human capabilities, not replace them altogether. Okay. That makes sense. But let's go back to the source material for a moment. Okay. One article mentioned that these AI tutors will be involved in projects uh. aimed at refining XAI's generative AI capabilities. Right. What exactly does that mean? You're picking up on a crucial detail there. Generative AI uh -huh. refers to the type of technology behind tools mm -hmm. that can write poems, compose music, even create realistic images from text prompts. So we're talking about AI that can create new content, yes. not just process or translate existing content. You got it. And if we combine that yeah. with this focus on multilingual capabilities, yeah. well, let's just say it opens up a whole new realm of possibilities. And my mind is officially blown. <laughs> Paint me a picture. What could this kind of multilingual generative AI look like in action? Imagine AI that can write a captivating screenplay in Hindi. Wow. Compose a soul-stirring symphony in Chinese or generate a photorealistic image yeah. based on a description given in Spanish. Mm -hmm. It's like unlocking a universe of creativity and expression yeah. that transcends language barriers. Now, that's a future I can get excited about. Right. But I also can't help but wonder, yeah. with all this talk of AI becoming so advanced, uh. are we getting close to a point where it becomes indistinguishable from human intelligence? That's a question that has captivated philosophers, right. scientists, mm -hmm. and science fiction writers for decades. Yeah. The, the line between human and artificial intelligence yeah. is becoming increasingly blurred, yeah. which raises all sorts of fascinating and perhaps even unsettling questions. Like if AI can create content that's just as creative and compelling as anything a human could produce, what does that mean for our understanding of creativity, of originality, of what it means to be human? Exactly. Yeah. And if AI can learn to master human language to such an extent, right. could it also learn to understand and replicate human emotions? Whoa, now we're getting into some deep philosophical waters. Yeah. AI that can feel emotions. It certainly is. Well, we're already seeing AI write poems that evoke sadness right. or compose music that feels joyful. Yeah. But is the AI truly experiencing those emotions right. or is it simply mimicking Yeah the patterns and structures of human emotional expression. Yeah. That's a question that's still up for debate. It's a bit mind-boggling, isn't it? Yeah. We started with this news about Elon Musk hiring Hindi tutors. Right. And now we're pondering the nature of consciousness uh -huh. and the possibility of AI experiencing emotions. That's what's so fascinating about exploring these topics. Yeah. We often start with a specific question. Right. And it leads us down these unexpected paths, prompting us to question our assumptions and consider new possibilities. So where do we go from here? What are some of the key takeaways you want our listeners to think about okay. as they process all of this information about XAI, multilingual AI, and the future of this technology? Well, I think the most important thing to remember yeah. is that AI is not just a technological advancement. Mm -hmm. It's a societal one. The development and deployment of AI will have profound impacts on our lives right, right. in countless ways, both big and small. So it's not just about understanding the technology itself. Right. It's about understanding its potential impact on our world, our cultures, Duh. and even our very understanding of what it means to be human. Exactly.
And it's about having conversations like this one. Yeah. Exploring the potential benefits and challenges of AI mm -hmm. and thinking critically about the future we want to create. It's about being informed, engaged. Yeah. And maybe even a little bit curious about how this technology will continue to evolve and shape our world. Absolutely. And who no, knows, no. maybe one day we'll have an AI on this show sharing its own unique perspective on the future of language communication and the relationship between humans and machines. That would be a deep dive I wouldn't want to miss. Thanks for joining us on this journey, and we'll see you next time for another fascinating exploration of the ideas that are shaping our world.